Hello, it's Sarah, and I'm working with my embossing foils today. These are the medium weight by, um, let's see if this one shows it, Amico Art Emboss. And I say that because all metals are not created equal. I got this at Hobby Lobby, and it says 36 gauge soft brass thick 36 gauge so I don't know it is not soft I would not recommend it you could hurt yourself with this stuff this is hard um, maybe I'll, I'm just keeping it around for you know I did try and play with it a little bit but not good I cut out a piece of this ATC that I didn't like and stuck it to the back um, this is actually um, brass colored, right? So I like that about it because it's like a golden color. Um, anywho, you can't emboss it. It's, it's, it's super hard. It's not the same quality as this metal. This is, um, I ended up getting copper, and I love the color of the copper. And I have, I got more pewter today. I was waiting for the pewter, but the pewter is even different than the copper. Like this is so, like, it's so, it's almost like it's wet or something. I can't explain it, but um, this is not, no good. Oh, no, this one's okay. Sorry. <laughs> that one's okay. This one, no, not good. Anywho. Um, you know, you know me, I go on Google and I search and I f look for anything that appeals to me, that catches my eye. Um, and Alicia Hart is it so far. She's really um, the only um, metal embossing uh, artist that I found. Um, people are embossing metal, don't get me wrong, but it's not the same um techniques it's not the same quality so anyway i just i did order one of her kits and i also ordered some tools from her website um it's called um, it's right there on the tip of my anyway um i'll put it in the description box if you guys i'll put a link to it um i ordered these tools on uh amazon i'm pretty sure but anyway they cut the metal so that you can do overlays and stuff like that. So I'm, I'm still playing around. But what I've done is, for this one, this is the brass. Oh, no, no, copper. I'm sorry, I keep saying brass, but it's copper. I went, I went to Hobby Lobby the other day, and I found these little blocks. And you don't have to use these, but they were $1.99 for two, and they were, you know, good to go. So they're four and a half inches. And so what I decided to do was trace this shape out onto some sketch, into my sketch papers. And I made a couple of different templates, a couple of different uh, designs that I liked. Um, this one didn't come, it didn't, I didn't like it as much, so I kind of scrapped it. I mean, I might come back to it. I was just going to put a saying in the middle. This one I like, and that's the one I'm going to do today. Um... And then I have two more. This one I'm going to do in brass. Is that co it's copper? <laughs> and then this is the one that I did. This is this is this one. So um, Alicia also glues everything with the Suk Wang tape. And I had I ordered some wider, like two and a half inch. She actually gets it on a really thick roll, like a roll like this. It was like fifty bucks. So. I, I won't get that unless I continue to do this, but that worked. I just used what I had, which is like um, thinner stuff, and you just put it on the edges and you tape it down. This one really didn't have any raised areas. Like um, I think I did do some filler on this box. This is just a little tin box that I have my scraps in at the moment, um, but I filled it with putty, uh, not putty. You can use you can use anything. She actually uses beeswax. Um, so, like I said, again, if I if I continue to do this, I may invest in some things because the beeswax was such a great idea because 
it dries right away. So you don't have to wait for um, your, and I used modeling paste, that's what I used, to harden before you can continue um, and finish the project. So um, this is what I'm going to be doing today only in pewter. And I really did the same techniques that I've been doing with the ATCs and I, my little Santa here, I finished him. I got to hang him on the tree actually, I got to put a hole in him. But I haven't sealed these. Now she, what I'm noticing is the pewter definitely changes its finish. So I think when you're finished using it, you really want to um, get it buffed up, bring that luster back, and then spray it with a, uh, a clear lacquer. And that way you won't get any um, natural tarnishing. I mean, he still looks cool. I think I'll uh, touch him up with some um, red for the berries and stuff, put a hole in them and hang them on the tray. I just put some paper on the back. But I used filler. Um, I used the modeling paste in his hot in his raised areas so they won't collapse. But um, anyway, so this one, I didn't fill this because I only had a very few lines. Um, so I'm hoping, I think... Well, that's not the one I'm working on, but I think the next one, today's project, I'm going to do the same thing. It's not, it doesn't really have any raised, we'll see, no, the hearts. I might puff out my hearts, and if I do, um, that's fine, I'll do that. But the thing you want to be careful about is if you've created a template with words on it, so this has hope, you want to make sure that you turn it over. Like, so for this, I actually traced it onto the back. Make sure your word is backwards because then on the front it'll be forward, okay? So that's, you know, she definitely mentions that on her videos and she doesn't have a lot of videos, um, so that's why I ordered one of her kits. I ordered a kit and it comes complete with uh, the metal, everything you need. Um, it's her design. So, uh, but this is my design. So I'm going to show you, and I haven't taken a class with her or anything. I've only just looked at a couple videos and basically kind of followed along as best I could to what I think she does. So what I have here is a hard surface, which is a masonite board, I think it is, about five sheets of paper and a piece of craft foam. Just the kids' craft foam that you get at the craft store. And I'm, it's been working pretty good for me, the craft foam. So I have, I, like I said, I ordered these tools from, um, I think it's called 10 Second Studios. That's the um, YouTube channel and the, uh, the store, the shop as well, the online shop. Um, and I am going to emboss this metal using these tools. Um, one of the lines on my drawing, I don't know if you can tell, but when I sketched it out, I intended this line right here, I'll use my highlighter, I want this line right here to be done with this tool here. And I'm a little nervous because I haven't really... If you push down with this, I can emboss, uh, see, and it's not even turning. I'm nervous. I'm going to screw up the whole thing if it doesn't work. Okay, it's turning now. Um, see, it's not turning that way. But the basically, okay, it's turning. But you kind of, that's what they've suggested. You kind of work it like that. But the idea is this one, it's going to be raised. Like I kind of want it to be raised. See, it's not spinning. I'm nervous to use it because I don't want it to screw up. This is, you know, it's the one of the worst parts of this is this is only a sheet. This is only nine and a quarter by twelve. That's all you get. So basically, I just got this pewter today. It took a while, and I think after the holidays, it'll probably take quicker. I only have half of this left. I cut it. I could, now I have six by nine left because I used a whole six inch piece. This is like a pretty big piece and this, that's all I have left. So you get two pieces this big. That's pretty much all you get. That's why I was making ATCs when I first got it because it just went a lot further. All right, I've talked long enough, but I really want to do that line. 
I'm going to start out with my word and because I'm pretty I'm pretty I've done it enough that I feel pretty confident with that hopefully my hair now listen I'm growing my hair out so I should put a hairband in actually so it, it kind of floofs everywhere but um, I'm going to zoom in a little bit more and that might take care of that um, basically I'm just going to use my Teflon tip tool and give medium pressure and I am a heavy hand so medium pressure for me might be hard pressure for other people and I'm a beginner so I am definitely learning I am not um, you know like I said so that's an H right I'm gonna take it off my foam mat or my yeah and just kind of press it back down to the surface using a blending stump kind of get the metal around my lines back flat and then I'm going to reinforce those lines with the Teflon tool am I still in the shot by pushing up against them and really making them stand out and this is one of my favorites so far because I know how to do it <laughs> I really like I feel um, confident with it you know sorta of, kinda because if you look at when I did this one I have home on here and because I wrote it I sketched it out like I didn't realize how thick the letter would be when I did it I might have done them too close together Oh, that's just a truck going by. Anywho, um, so there is a learning curve. You have to kind of try it and figure out. See, like that. I'm um, just trying to find a different stump. And I, because I'm like far away, I should move my camera closer so I can like pull this and get closer. Yeah, I'm going to pull my camera closer. Um, there we go. I might have scratched the metal right there because I was too far away from the line. So there's definitely a learning curve, but that H looks pretty good. Like I'm pretty happy with that. All right, so again, you go back to your soft surface and this Teflon tip tool. And I'm gonna hopefully try to get a nice Kirby stop. It's my dog. I think I pull towards myself better than I do. This um, pewter is so soft and nice. See, like I want to make it smoother looking. And hey, you know what? Maybe it's not, you can't be a perfectionist. It is what it is, you know? So that's kind of coming out wonky. So I'm going to stop and just come back over and just kind of push it all back down and maybe I can straighten that out I don't know push it down with my stump a little bit yeah this side is not raised as much and then you take your Teflon tip tool on the hard surface and push up against hopefully I'm in the shot the raised areas and it kind of just tucks it back See this one, this side I must have just pushed a ton harder because it's actually like um, even raised, it's like a deeper emboss. But like as you reinforce it, you can kind of reshape it. So um, that's the idea. And then just flatten it, it down with this blending stump. I'm going to go back to it because honestly I think I pushed way harder on one side and I think it's because I'm not right on top of it and I'm you know worried about sticking my head in the shot but when I do it um, off camera it's easier to apply the correct amount of pressure and like really um, get it even because you know 
so I think I'll save that till I go off camera but basically I will have a word here when I'm done and I'll just show you how I'm gonna do it looks pretty good though it looks like HO so for the hearts I, I think I want to wait to the end to do the hearts though because they're gonna be um, I want to try and puff them out um, I think for my son I'm going to uh, here's my son right here this is a son I have lines that go out from the Sun uh, you know what I'll do I'm gonna do this tree and I think I want to do a little ball on each end of the, the branch so I'm gonna go swizzle and make an indent with this little ball tool and I'm on the soft foam so I have four little indents then you flip it over and get on your hard surface and take this cup tool the other end of it and just reinforce it and it's like per a perfect little dot and these come in different sizes so if you really got into this now um, you could get different sizes and go big small big small big small oh, and I'm on the wrong side this is the same thing I did on the Santa damn it so I have to push them back all right I'm gonna go off camera and I'm gonna do a bit more and I'll come back in a bit okay I'm back and I've pretty much completed it uh, to this point I want to do my heart so I wanted to show you and I'm not sure I think I'm gonna make a dot in my little zentangled area now um, it's funny because um, this medium is so adaptable like I designed this and it's basically a tangle it is a tangle and that's what um, uh, Alicia calls it a, a metangle metangle get it so um, I did put little uh, like you know V's in there and swirls here and hearts it's basically you just do patterns inside the lines so I don't know this is this is uh, fun for me so the next thing I want to do is these hearts and to do that I go on my soft mat and I'm going to I'll zoom in a little bit but the idea is I want to puff I puffed out my Sun a little bit I didn't raise it up too high but I definitely puffed it up it's kind of dented there so I'll show you how I fix that um, and I puffed up the rays I didn't puff anything else up really just that line there we did do I did manage to get that um, I'm just gonna soften that a little bit I think and try to get it straighter um, but I like the difference between the highs and the lows and the ins and the outs so or the ins and the outs um, so now we're gonna puff these hearts out and I use the Teflon tip and it's I know that there are other um, Teflon tools that they sell and I think they're called erasers or different things and I may be getting them because I just want to see what the tools do now again I am heavy-handed so I'm gonna try and be gentle and I hold my tool kind of straight up and down and follow the line that I kind of etched on there with with the pat with the stencil not the stencil the um the tracing that I did and I'm gonna do one heart at a time I want to get a good angle so I make a smooth line but because that's my thing I'm kind of feeling like I'm pushing so hard that I uh, I'm not making a smooth line because I I come in and out of the metal anyway alright so that's a heart I've gone down into and press it now getting on my hard surface I'm just gonna push down the metal around it I'll use my paper stump and push around it and I'm only going to reinforce the outside edge and leave the inside edge because I want to puff the inside edge out 
So I'm going to take my Teflon tool again and just press up against the heart shape and reinforce, I'm pushing down to get the metal um, flat. Hopefully I'm in the shot, yay. And that is basically it for that. Now I'm gonna gently start to push the metal. I'm gonna start on the inside edge up against the line I made and gently start to push the metal out and just gently I could use my really big stump start to push that out and I could I think I wanted to etch into this too so I'm gonna stop now because I think I want to do a little bit so you can already tell that that is puffed out but I think what you can see, let's see if I did it anywhere else. Yeah, on the inside of these flowers, there's a swirl. Do I want to do it? I do. I want to give them little polka dots. So I'm going to go onto the hard surface with my, this is more of a stylus. And I'm going to, I should have done this first, but I'm going to just make circles. Can you see that? And hope for the best because I should have done this first. And again, I'm pushing so hard, guys. I am such a heavy hand. But I really wanted to have polka dots on my, um, so I'm just smoothing this out. I want to polka dots on my hearts or some version of polka dots and again this is metangle that's what Alicia calls it and I think it's awesome because it's already something that you're familiar with and maybe we'll start making little dots like that and just to make texture in the metal and then when we emboss it oh, I'm not emboss it this is embossing when we um, patina and I use um, paint I'm just gonna use a black acrylic paint I haven't gotten the chemical one yet but I'm gonna just continue to press the metal out and I'm gonna fix my Sun too I just press again with my paper stump and see if the uh, circles are going to show up. Let's see. They do. And then hopefully when we, like I said, patina this and put the black paint on top of it, all of those little details will show up. So I think we're pretty close to done. I'm going to do a few more of those hearts. And then I'm going to... Um, patina and then I'm going to fill the back with um, its piece, modeling piece. So I'll show you how to do all that too. And then the final step is when I kind of wrap the metal around the wooden board. Alright, so I'm going to get these hearts all puffed out. I'll do one more with you. So basically you just take your Teflon tool and medium pressure, medium to kind of, you know, you want to emboss it into the metal. Turn it, too, to get it in an angle where you're, see, now that is the most bumpy looking heart, but I think I can fix it. So you can kind of, you have a little, hey, listen, it's hand done, too, so don't, you know, oh, I shouldn't have done that. I didn't want to push down on the inside of the heart because I want to puff that up. But if you just put pressure on the outside of the heart, it kind of helps you. Oh, I got to oh, just a uh, beautiful, another beautiful day in New Jersey. It was chilly for like two days, but now it's, it's back up to 60, so craziness. 
All right, so go back to my soft mat and take gently take a paper stump and just gently coax that metal out. And that's it. I don't really want to raise it up much more than that but I come back over to the flat surface and flatten all this out. Like So if you flatten the metal around it too, it helps keep it all in perspective. So that's two hearts puffed out, right? You can definitely see the dimension there. All right, good. Now I'm going to continue and then I'll be back and we'll patina everything. All right, be right back. Okay, <clears throat> sorry, I am pretty happy with it. I'm really happy with it, actually. I think it turned out pretty cool. Um, the next step I'm going to do is to add the modeling piece. So I just, I got my craft mat out, and I need to fill in all of the deep set areas. Actually, I'm just going to run my, um, my putty knife along the whole thing, and it's going to take a good hour to dry. But this is the Golden Gel Mediums Modeling Paste. Uh, it's a thick matte, pretty much opaque uh, modeling paste. So I have it, I just scooped it out with my uh, palette knife. And I'm just starting at the top of the design and I'm going to scrape it along and get it into all the nooks and crannies in my letters. Why not? I made dots on the top there. Now this is where I want it to really get in these hearts. I hope I don't crush it too. I don't want to crush the hearts. I hope they're nice and uh, rounded looking. So yeah, so this is um, so that once it's on my wooden board, I can tape it down and I can give it pressure or rub it and get the, I can buff it and it won't, uh, it'll hold its shape. So, so you can see all that cool detail that I've added. My hearts are going to be, I want to try and make sure I... So Alicia uses um, beeswax. I haven't seen her demo it. Um, and she says she uses a metal dropper. Because I can imagine it would be hot. And um, a plastic dropper probably would just melt. But uh, I, I like the idea of that because then you don't have to wait because once you put that wax down, it probably dries pretty instantly, right? So that's a, a really great idea. I think I almost want to use a credit card for this part. The smaller areas are covering great. Um, I think my son even got covered pretty good, but the hearts, there we go. Good, that looked good. Just got to come at it at a certain angle. I'm getting my little, um, my little rosebuds there. All right, and it doesn't have to be perfect, but I would like it to be full. All right, so that's pretty good. I'm going to leave that to dry, and then I'll be back to uh, finish it up. I think we can finish it up pretty quickly once this dries. All right, so I'll see you later. Okay, it's dry, and I'm just, I just finished adhering some double-sided tape. Uh, you have to be careful when you cut it because you will cut the metal. It is so soft. You know, I just did that on another project by accident. I'm going to use some black paint, and we're going to add that to, the, to, the pati to patina the metal. And then all the black paint will get kind of 
I'm running out of black paint. <laughs> um, you know what? I want to go, I'm going to go and wet a paper towel because I just learned that I think it's better to have a damp paper towel than a dry paper towel. So I'm going to get, I'm going to just dampen some paper towels. I'll be right back. And I actually hope I have enough black paint because uh, I just did this little notebook cover and I kind of almost ran out of paint. So I'm just going to put a little extra and going to just use the f a flat brush and spread that all over the piece and get it not so much on the edges. I'm going to fold, oh, I signed my name, so I'm going over where I signed my name mainly just over the design. You don't need to do it on the edge that we're going to be folding around the um, wooden piece. But definitely get it into all the nooks and crannies as best you can. And I like to work fast when I do this just because I don't, I really don't want it to dry too well into some of the I want to be able to wipe it away. So I think I've got good even coverage. And just set that aside. I'm going to use, this is a, it's wet. It's not wet. It's not dripping. It's damp. And I'm just going to wipe in one direction first. I'll try using it one more time. I'm just going to fold it over and try to find a clean spot. Go in the same direction. And then I'm going to grab another one and turn it and go in a different direction. And hopefully I won't pull it out of all the Places that I want it to show the details. Oops, I'm going to try and stay in one direction and turn it and go in another direction. And I think we're good. I think it's, it's staying in around the tree. Like you don't want it all off. Definitely not. Um, really got a lot there by the hearts. And hopefully I didn't wipe it all off and you can still see it. Now I'll use a dry paper towel. Hopefully it's still in some of those nooks and crannies. But that's the idea. Um, let's have a look. I definitely can see, um, like I don't think it stayed in these as much as I wanted it to. I think it is in some of the around the higher areas more than it needs to be. Like I think it needs to be in the lower areas more than the, you know, because you can see the hearts really well, but you can't see, like it didn't stay in my name. See, that's where this is trial and error for me because I'm learning. Um, I'm kind of, I think that the wet paper towels really did wipe too much away. I'm going to add some more just in a few areas, like right here on my name, here. I think it did pretty good on the triangles, I think right here on the flowers. I think it did pretty good. See, now I'm going to get carried away again. And this is, you know, I am a beginner. I'm a beginner, meaning that um, 
it probably comes to light as the more you do it um, just how much you need to do or you know all those different things so I'm this time just going to use a dry paper towel definitely stayed in my name I don't know if you can tell that but, and it's definitely staying in the but I, I don't want it to be like on the surface of the pewter because it takes the luster away from the pewter almost do you know what I mean like so I'm gonna go over that with the wet paper towel But all right, I think you get the point anyway, right? I think I'm all right with it. I'm going to let it dry. And I think I can rub it more with uh, Q-tips and stuff. That's how I cleaned up the little um, notebook cover I just did. I'm going to just let that dry on there for a minute and the next thing we need I'm going to take this away because I know it's um, has a glare to it the next thing I want to do is cut away the corners because I'm going to put this on top of a little block of wood and wrap it around so I'm just going to follow this and just do I'm not going to do mitered edges or anything just cut it straight and cut the corners right off um, and I did see this on Alicia has a video about using um, doing filigree like cutting out areas of here and putting like another color behind it I'll be trying that don't worry that's why I got these other colors like copper and uh, to play around with that so the next thing I'm going to do is peel off all the um, double stick tape I have on here which that that could take a while depending on if it's cooperative oh, not too bad so she uses um, the Sook Wang tape and she gets it in a big um, about, I would say it's at least a six inch roll of uh, tape and I've seen that on Amazon I think it's like around 50 bucks or 45 something like that in that area and just didn't feel like investing in it not knowing if I'm going to continue with this but if I do I can see that's why I got the two and a half inch um, size because I think that's fair enough you can use I could use that on a lot of different stuff um, and it, it'll do the trick because this is not Sukwang this is uh, American Crafts but it's about a half inch I forget what size I got I might have gotten two inch I forget what size um, but this will work just fine alright good so now the trick is to kinda center the block I'm going to just try and find where I can see the line I want to make sure see I can't really see my oh I see it on this side I couldn't see it as as well because I covered it with all that paste or the modeling paste so I am just lining up the block and rolling the metal over onto itself. I'm just going to do both of those ends and then both of these. All right, and that's basically it. You can use a probably flattening everything out because I don't think that modeling paste is ideal it, it didn't seem I mean 
it seems firm enough but not totally firm and I'm going to take my big old stump and just kind of make sure and I mean I think that's a tape line right there make sure it's kind of adhered and push down the edges see some of the paint is kind of coming off. yeah that's not good why is that work there oh well okay let's take this and give it a rub see they're denning my hearts are dented definitely like the, the uh, modeling paste isn't strong enough to really hold it in place um, this this is dented it's all right though I mean it's still definitely raised this is the pewter and this is the copper let me do my is this copper or am I saying the wrong thing yeah it's copper um, and this one didn't really have that many raised areas and I colored it a little bit so of course I think I'm gonna color this one a little bit don't you think Definitely with some yellow for the sun and just do the sun rays. I'm going to spray these in a minute too. I'm going to take my, um, I think it's, uh, I forget what brand I have, but it's just like a spray adhesive, not adhesive, a spray um, varnish. And that way it won't it'll seal everything and it won't um, patina on its own because sometimes these um, I'm gonna use this I love this teal color and just do my little leaves I guess there's well maybe make them pink because the hearts I could kind of do them red I don't know if I want to I don't know if I want to just make I think I'm going to do the flowers red. And maybe that's all I need. You don't need to go crazy. Um, I think like in this little area where the tree is, I don't need that much paint in there. Like I don't like it coming up the works. I don't think it needs it in there, you know? It just needed it in this little area. So I like that. Um, I think it looks good. Pretty happy. Like, even around the letters, you don't totally need it to be thick because the um, they pop up enough that that's, that's all you really need to see the letter. And even around the hearts, you know, it, it doesn't need it to make them stand out. I like it. I think it turned out pretty cool. So these are two projects. I mean, I could definitely add a little more something, more color. I'm nervous about the color. But I think I'm going to do one more copper and one more pewter. And I might put them on a board together, like going down. I have two more designs that I created. But yeah, I got to fix this. This is like, I mean, it's definitely not going to go all the way down because there definitely is some putty behind it. But it's not as um, solid as I'd hope. So, all right. That's it, guys. I'm going to seal these. Thanks for watching.